whenever it comes to clearing net exam there are only two options that's what others say one is teaching and one is research okay and i'm here to tell you that that is not true there are several options which are available and you can apply for we are in 2023 and there are so many opportunities that are created every day you will be astonished at what am i going to say next so without further ado let's begin you can apply for public sector undertakings okay what i mean by that is large companies where recruitment and everything their shares are open so i'm listing some of the companies over here i'm sure there are more in these companies you can go to their website and apply from the recruitment portal whichever is there every website usually has a career section or work with us section something of that sort so there you can apply and you can say that you are net qualified obviously you will be getting more preference than others without doubt some companies recruit in the form of hr marketing finance okay. but there are other companies which do a lot of extensive r and d work research and development so there also you can get a shot the sky is the limit it all depends on how you apply and how uh, things work for you now this is specifically to those who have cleared ugc net so ugc has rolled out a website this was rolled out quite a years back but not many people are using it and that is the most saddening part they have a job portal where you can sign up and you can apply directly to the university or institute or college from the portal itself maybe i will do a detailed tutorial in future regarding this but for now you just have to upload your documents and make a move there are so many opportunities and so many things are there but what i feel personally is we are not using everything because of whatever beliefs we have this is not working that is not working you will never know whether something is working till you try it so what you will do over here is just sign up using the credentials log in into the portal upload whatever documents you have and then your profile will go public whichever employers are searching in these databases your profile will get highlighted and they can choose they can recruit from your profile the third thing is obviously research whenever there are whenever there is any kind of recruitment whether it is for teaching or research for anything there is something called as essential qualification and there are something called as additional qualification essential qualifications means you have to have that particular thing if you are not having that particular uh, qualification or that particular percentage whatever it is specified it's different for different uh, recruitment then you cannot even sit for the interview additional qualifications are like good to have if you are net qualified then obviously you can apply for research fellowship the first 3 years would be jrf the next 2 years would be srf senior research fellow junior research fellow you get a good stipend for that it's better than getting nothing right whatever institute is providing or whatever the college is providing it will be definitely more than that it's a good uh, compensation for your hard work for whatever you put in then other options you can explore is program executive whenever there is any kind of implementation that has to happen whenever there is any kind of program or whenever anything is there so there is something called as program executive which takes care of that intellectual property this is the recent uh, advancement that is happening the category has been there since ages but people are moving towards it whatever research you do other people should not copy whatever writing material you do other people should not copy so for that intellectual property rights are in place patents and all that comes under this particular category this is one field where recruitments are going on currently also you can tutor online you can teach online to a group of people you can enroll for a coaching institute offline or there are several opportunities like cheg is one where you can tutor and you can also doubt solve your questions so these are some of the things that you can do you can be a guest faculty you need not be a permanent take the role of a lab manager we have a lab manager she looks after all the he looks after all the supplies of the lab 
whatever chemicals, whatever things are required. So that is one of the positions that you can apply. For teaching also, there are several options. You need not go into that one zone. So you can cater to undergraduate students, graduation or disciplines. Whichever discipline you have cleared net into, you can teach postgraduates. You can train postdoctoral fellows also. Not if you don't have PhD, then you can train them unofficially because at least what I've seen, even if you don't have PhD and you are net qualified, then if there is any specific skill set, then such people are recruited to train postdoctoral fellows also. Okay, I have seen that happening. You can join a coaching institute, as I said earlier, many a times faculty at coaching institute, they earn better than what you earn at any kind of government or any kind of private institute. Even if you join teaching, you don't have to remain at, the, at that level. You start your teaching career with junior assistant professor, then you move to associate professor, then you move to professor level. The roles and responsibilities will change accordingly. When you are at professor level, teaching is there only, but most thing is that you are collaborative, you are open for opportunities and there are a lot of collaborations happening. So these kinds of things happen. So these careers give you a scope for your own individual growth also. Not necessarily that you have to get stuck in teaching. Because this is what sometimes I hear, you get stuck in research, you get uh, stuck in teaching, you get stuck in that particular job. As you move ahead, the roles and responsibilities change, become more flexible and more fluid. Teaching and research is just the tip of the iceberg. There is a whole lot of universe for you to explore. I've decided that I'm going to focus more on career options and those kinds of options which are there uh, along with the content that i'm already making job scarcity is real and i really want to help you in that uh, pursuit whether you are phd or net qualified or masters so i really want to hone into that direction so i hope you have found today's video useful till the next time